Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of Blazing Beards. My name is Andrew, and today, guys, I'll be reviewing some new products from a company that I've reviewed several times before. Now, this company, when I first reviewed them, they basically only had a couple of products of their own, and they concentrated their efforts on promoting other brands. In other words, they were in the retail business. But since then, that company has come a long way. They've stopped promoting other brands and they've focused on their own products. They make several products and this company has grown to an amazing size, having everything you could possibly want for your beard. In fact, I referred to this company in one of my prior videos as the Energizer Bunny in the beard care industry. That's because they're always coming up with new products and new formulations. They're always updating their website and they're always striving to improve. And this company, guys, wants you always to have the highest quality ingredients that in other companies you could only get at extremely high prices. But this company uses great ingredients in their products and they sell them to you at an affordable price. So I think that's really awesome. So what do you say, guys? We move on and check out this company. Let me reintroduce you to them right now. All right, guys, so the company that we'll be reviewing today is, you guessed it, Barn Brand Beards. Now, guys, I've reviewed Barn Brand Beards and some of their products several times before. So if you want to get even more information on the company and its owner, I suggest you go back and look at those videos. But I think it is important that I give you a brief summary of this company because, to me, it is inspiring. Now, this company is owned by a big old burly country boy by the name of Tex, and they are located in Alabama. Now, Tex is a veteran who served two tours in Iraq and two tours in Afghanistan. When he was in Afghanistan, he was wounded and he was sent to a hospital in Germany to recuperate. During that recuperation time, a nurse at the hospital took Tex under her wing during his rehabilitation and taught him how to make vegetable glycerin and soaps. So I think that's important because later on, Tex used that knowledge to start making his own products under his own brand. If you recall, as I said earlier, Tex started his company by selling retail products for other beard companies. And then he decided to launch his own soap line, and from there, the rest is history. He added and added and continued to add beard products until he can't got to the size that he is today. And his company has basically everything you could possibly need for your beard. So I think that's really cool. And the lesson from that story, guys, is that you can turn adversity into triumph with determination and grit. And Tex has plenty of that. Tex is also married to a woman who comes from a line of, you know, grooming products in her family. She uh, is the owner of a company called the House of Cheatham. And she took over that company from her family who has owned it since 1962. So if you take her experience and Texas experience, you know, they have over 20 years experience between the two of them in the hygiene and grooming markets. So guys, I think that's really important that you have that much experience in people that make, you know, grooming products, making your beard products for you. So I think that is awesome. So guys, what do you say we move on and see what Tex and Barn Brand Beards sent to me this time? All right, gentlemen, so I am super excited now. Why is that? It's because now I get to share with you the products that were sent to me by Barn Brand Beards. And every time I get a box with this logo on it, I get excited, guys, because I know there's really good stuff inside. So, guys, the products arrived in this very sturdy box. It has lots of labeling all over it. It says, you know, made with love by Tex on here. I think it's really cool. Anyway, let me open this up and show you what's inside. 
So guys, the first thing I noticed when I opened this box was a note. And this note says on it, Andrew, can't thank you enough for sticking by me and Triple B, Barn Brand Beards, since day one. Andrew, your support and friendship has meant a lot in these past two years. I truly hope you enjoy this special project, buddy. Tex. So I think that's really nice. I always appreciate it when companies send a personalized note, especially, you know, saying that they appreciate the work that I've done for them. It is really special to me, and I thank you, Tex. Next up, guys, or next out of the box, was this really cool holographic sticker with the Barn Brand logo on it. I think that is awesome. I don't know if you can see how it shines, but it's a really cool sticker. I always appreciate getting stickers. Next out was a coaster. So that's pretty cool as well. Check it out with the Barn Brand logo on it. I really appreciate that. But that's not all, guys. I also got this really awesome koozie. Keep my beverages cold. Very nice. Also with the Barn Brand logo on it. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the logo because uh, of my green screen. It might, uh, you know, blank that out. But anyway, it's a really nice coaster. Purple with green writing on it. Then, guys, started to get to the beard products. Here's another sticker in here and a little bar of mustache soap. Or a little bar of soap shaped like a mustache. Now, I haven't used this soap because I thought it looked really cool. And I have other soaps from Bond Brand Beard. So I think, uh, you know, it was really nice of him to include that anyway. So now let's get to the products that we're going to review today. Now, typically, guys, what I'll do is I'll show you the products um, and I'll tell you about all the ingredients in the products, but there are so many ingredients to go through here. I don't want to bore you with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a chart and I will attach it uh, to the scent profile chart so that you can stop the video at any time and look at the ingredients. But when I do that, I want you to space, pay special attention to the high-end ingredients that are in all of these products. These are ingredients that you would typically only get with much more expensive products. So. Stop the video at that point and take a look at it. I think you'll be impressed. Anyway, let's move on. So the first product that I take out of the box here, guys, is a beard oil. Now, this is a special beard oil. It is in their new Oud Rose scent. And it comes with this spray top bottle. And I love the spray top bottles, you guys know. I don't like bottles necessarily with dropper tops because I typically or sometimes spill those uh, products. And with these, you're guaranteed not to spill the product. So this is in the Oud Rose, very nice bottle, very nice labeling, has you know all the ingredients and everything right on the bottle, very cool. Then I also got a matching Ultra Whip Butter, also in the Oud Rose scent. Now these, this product, these two products sell as a bundle at Barn Brand Beards. You cannot right now buy them separately. They are sold as a bundle. But guys, really, really nice packaging on this. Um, I'm always amazed at the improvement in the packaging at Barn Brand Beards. I mean, this is really an, some exquisite high-end packaging on this uh, uh, jar of beard butter. Uh, when I first got products from Tex, uh, it had like basically plastic or, or paper labels that were, you know, basically taped onto the bottles with marker that wrote on the bottle what it was. So what a far distance they have come in terms of their packaging and their consistency with the labeling. Always having, you know, their standard logo on each product. I think that is really cool. And then finally, guys, I got a four ounce jar of Simple Man butter. And, um, you know, this is their unscented butter. So a nice big jar of Simple Man butter. So overall, guys, Really, really cool. I really appreciate the products that Tex sent to me and all the little extras that are in here. And what I'm going to do for you now, guys, is, well, Tex sent me the Oud Rose, his new, newest scent, and the Simple Man Unscented. Barn Brand Beards has several other scent profiles available for you to choose from on his website. So what I'm going to do for you now is I'm going to share with you a chart that shows you all of the scent profiles that are currently available at Barn Brand Beards. And yes, I will include the ingredients for all these products along with those charts. So guys, here it is.
All right, my bearded brothers, now that we are zoomed in nice and close, let's take a detailed look at the products that were sent to me by Barn Brand Beards. And today, guys, we're going to start with the Oud Rose Beard Oil. Now, before I show you the color and the consistency of this product, let me tell you the scent profile. So the scent profile on the Oud Rose is Agarwood, that's Oud, French Lavender, Bulgarian Lavender, Rosewood, Aged Frankincense, Rose Absolute, Juniper Berry, Imported Conca Bean, Rose Geranium, Cardamom, and Champagne Extract. So guys, how is that for a complicated scent profile? And in just a minute, I'll tell you exactly what I think of it and what it smells like to me. But first, guys, let's check out the color and the consistency of this beard oil. So guys, it comes with this nice spray top. I really like the spray tops, as I said before. Let me show you the color and the consistency. So let me put a couple drops on my hands. So the color of this, guys, it is a translucent beard oil with a slight goldish hue to it. Let me give it the run test and you can see the consistency. So guys, as you can see, the oil runs somewhat slowly, so I would, I would describe this as a medium to maybe a little bit on the heavy medium side. Uh, in terms of the way this oil absorbs, guys, even before I get it to my beard, it's already starting to absorb into my hand, so it absorbs really, really well. When I put this stuff in my beard, guys, I get hit immediately with a very strong rose-type scent. And guys, it is a really strong scent. Um, but when what I also notice, guys, is it, it is an exquisite scent. This is a scent that you, know, you would expect to get at a perfume counter in a very high-end uh, cologne type store. Um, it is a very rich smelling scent and it seems like it was made by a real master craftsman. I mean, that's what I think of when I smell this scent. Now, when it first goes in, guys, like I said, it is an overpowering floral. It just like knocks you right in the face with bang, this is rose. You know, you know that you got that rose in there. Um, so at first I was like, you know, this is just too floral for me. Um, but after it was in beard for about maybe 15, 20 minutes, that super strong floral really started to fade and that oud started to come out. And it made it a much more pleasant, more masculine type scent than when it first went in. It is still a very floral scent, so if you don't like florals, this one's probably not for you. If you're like me and you do like floral, this is a nice scent. Now, let me give you uh, an example of something that happened when I put this in my beard. When I first put this in my beard, my wife and my daughters both noticed it when I came into the room. Um, so they were like, ooh, what's that smell? That smells really, really good. And I told them it was my beard oil, and they were like, oh, can we try some? So they both, my wife and my daughters, both wanted to try this uh, beard oil because they really liked the scent. So what that tells me is it is a unisex type scent, uh, something that's good for either a man or a woman. So overall, guys, I really like the scent. Um, it is very floral. It's not something I'd wear every day, but maybe on a special occasion. It is an exquisite high-end cologne type scent. So if you like florals, I think you're really going to love this one. Guys, let's move on to the Ultra Whipped Beard Butter, also in the Rose Oud. Let me show you the color and the consistency of this butter. So this is a really nice consistency butter. I'm not sure whether it'll pick up on the camera or not, but it is like a white butter with a slight pinkish hue to it. So it's really, really nice. Let me, uh, let me take a little bit out here. This is super smooth. This is one of the smoothest and creamiest butters I think I've ever tried before. And this butter is also infused with rose clay. So um, I was, you know, I've never had a, a beard balm, I think, with rose clay in it, but it is very, very nice. Let me show you how it melts down. So guys, this stuff melts down really, really easy. There's not even a trace of grit to it whatsoever. And again, it absorbs really well. It's not greasy feeling. And I think both of these butters, they have uh, what they call arrowroot powder in them. And what arrowroot powder does, it, is, it absorbs excess greasiness. So overall, guys, I think it's really, really nice. 
uh, buttered, has a great consistency, super feel, super, super smooth. And one thing that I noticed about this butter is it did have a little bit of tack to it. So I like a butter that has a little bit of tack to it, not necessarily from beeswax, but you know, this one has some clay in it. I know it has BTMS 50 in it, which is also a wax, and it's a great conditioner. It makes your beard feel super duper soft. So I really enjoyed this butter. You know, it was made it super soft, super easy to comb out. I used it at night, and when I took a shower in the morning, you know, my beard just felt fantastic. Even after, you know, I rinsed it out, it, it, it felt fantastic. So it's a really good butter, um, something that I can highly recommend to you guys. In terms of the scent on these, you know, the, the scent, like I said, it's a very strong floral, and it lasts all day and into the next day as well. So I put it on in the morning, you know, and then I didn't shower again to the next morning. And when I woke up in the morning, I could still smell it and it still had a good amount of power to it. So it is a very, very strong and long scent duration. So if you like that, you're gonna like this as well. Let's move on to the Simple Man Butter. So this butter, guys, this is their unscented butter. And this one, guys, the consistency of this one is amazing. Um, I like the consistency of this one even better than this Ultra Whip. Now, I'm not sure why, but this one is like a whipped cream. Like if you got a, a jar of Cool Whip or something like that, that's what this is like. It is really, really nice and creamy. You know, super, super nice, although it has a nice consistency to it as well. Um, now this butter, right now I'm not going to put it in my beard. I did try it in my beard. It worked fantastic. Again, both of these butters made my beard super soft and made them feel like they were ultra conditioned and I really enjoyed them. But right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rub it on my skin because this butter, guys, is not only a uh, beard butter, but it's also a butter for your body and your skin. So I think overall it is really, really nice. It made my skin feel, you know, nice and nourished and, you know, it took the dryness right out of it, but it didn't feel greasy. And again, I think that's because it has that arrowroot powder in it that takes that greasiness away. So overall, guys, I really enjoyed all of these products that were sent to me by Barn Brand Beards, and I can highly recommend them to you. The oils, you know, it worked great. It absorbed great. The scent duration was amazing. And, you know, it's just up to you as to whether or not you like a really strong floral type scent. So um, the butter, guys, this ultra wet butter, you know, with that rose clay in it and the BTMS 50, it has a little bit of hold, but it still made my beard feel super soft and nourished. I really enjoyed that as well. And the Simple Man, guys, it can be used for either your, your beard or your body, you know, your skin. So I think it is really cool. And this is one of the best consistency butters I've ever tried. So guys, I highly recommend these products from Barn Brand Beards. And once you see the pricing, which I'm going to show you right now, you're going to say, wow, that's a great deal for such high-end products. All right, gentlemen, so I really enjoyed the products that were sent to me by Barn Brand Beards. And I bet you were thinking to yourself, wow, with those high-end ingredients that are in those products, long scent durations, great feel and beard, these are going to be some expensive products. Well, guys, you would be wrong. These products are very reasonably priced. For the combo pack, and again, the Oud Rose is not sold separately, but for this combo pack of a one ounce beard oil and a two ounce beard butter, this sells on their website for $28.99. So basically guys, 14, 15 bucks a piece, pretty good deal for such high end products. The Simple Man, now this is a big four ounce tub of beard butter. And again, this is one of the best consistency butters that I would say I have tried. This sells on their website for $18.49. So guys, that is a fantastic deal for a huge four ounce tub of beard butter. At Barn Brand Beard, shipping is always a flat rate of $6. So it doesn't matter whether you put one item in your cart or you put 20 items in your cart, this shipping is $6. So I think that's a pretty fair deal. Now, these prices are really, really good in my opinion. They are reasonable, especially when you consider the high-end ingredients and the high-end scent profiles. So guys, I highly recommend you get yourself over to the barn and try out some of these products. Now what I'm going to do for you now, guys, is 
Barn Brand Beards, you know, they sent me the combo pack of the Oud Rose and the oil and the butter, and they sent me the Simple Man Butter, but they also have many, many other products, basically everything you could ever want for your beard on their website. So what I'm going to do for you now is I'm going to share with you a couple charts that show you all of the products and the associated pricing that is currently available at Barn Brand Beards. Here it is. All right, my bearded friends, it is time to wrap up another episode of Blazing Beards. But before I go, guys, I always like to provide a few suggestions for the company that was generous enough to send beard products out to me for a review. And for Barn Brand Beards, on my fourth review, I have three suggestions. The first suggestion, guys, is I would love to see free shipping offered once you hit a certain dollar amount. I think if I spend 50, 60, 70 bucks on beard products from your company, it's kind of expected that I would get free shipping. Now, I know $6 is not a huge shipping fee, but I just think it would be a great thank you to your loyal customers to give them free shipping if they're buying in quantity. So that's my first suggestion. My second suggestion, guys, has to do with your website and your homepage. Now, this is a personal opinion, but I think your landing page when you click on Barn Brand Beards and it comes up, it is not a very attractive page. It looks like the outside of a gym with steel doors and a, a gray brick building. Um, I don't think it reflects, you know, the image of Barn Brand Beards. You know, for me, a beautiful old rustic barn, you know, in, with a sunset with maybe a couple animals around would be really cool. It would reflect Barn Brand Beards much better than the drab gray gym looking building. Now, that's just my opinion. Tex, you may disagree with me, but I think it would, you know, give a much better first impression when people click to your website. So that's my second suggestion. My third suggestion, Tex, has to do with, you know, the descriptions on a couple of the items on your web page. And I know we discussed this or texted back and forth about it, um, but on some of the images on your website, for example, uh, you know, one of the tubs for product had four ounces on it, but the description on the website said it was five ounces. Now, I know you told me that the description is right and the tub is wrong, but me as a consumer, if I read the description on the website and it said I have five ounces and I get a, a, a jar and the label on it says four ounces, even though, as you said, it may actually have five ounces inside of it, I would be a little bit annoyed or disappointed or confused. So I think you should straighten that out. And I think you should make sure that your labels or your images on your website match the descriptions as well. So the customer always knows exactly what they're getting without any confusion. So those are my three suggestions, Tex. I hope you find them useful. But overall, guys, I really enjoy the products from Barn Brand Beards. You know, they are great products. They have amazing feel and beard. They have super high-end ingredients at reasonable prices. So guys, I cannot emphasize enough to you how much I rec recommend the products from Barn Brand Beards. So I'd say, guys, go get yourselves over to the barn and get yourself some amazing products. Gentlemen, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, I'd appreciate it if you'd give it a thumbs up, hit the like button. Share this video with your friends so that I get more exposure. Guys, make a comment on the video. Have you tried Barn Brand Beards? What do you think of them? I would really like to know, and I always answer comments. And guys, finally, see down here in the corner of your screen, that red box with the white arrow in it? That is the subscribe button, and I would really appreciate it. If you would click that right now and subscribe to my channel, it would really help me out a lot. And guys, until next time, grow yourselves a blazing beard. See ya.